Hi. To see where weather in Europe, Arctic sea ice froze at a faster than average pace through November. Now already close to 10 million square kilometers, but Hudson Bay is almost free of ice. Arctic sea ice extend in 2021 is among the highest in recent years. Thanks to a cool summer and autumn, particularly in the Western Arctic Ocean. A marked negative anomaly affects instead the Hudson Bay is still most entirely free of ice, delayed by more than a month. The Arctic sea ice extent is actually growing faster than in the latest years. By the end of November, its extent was 9.77 million square kilometers, which is just within the Inders interdecile range, according to the National Snow and Ice Data Center of Boulder, Colorado. The Interdecile range is a measure of statistical dispersion of the values of the of uh, in a set of data. This means it is actually within the normal sea ice interannual variability, although in the lower part of it, sea ice extent is actually much higher than average in the Bering Sea. Bering, Bering, Bering. Here, the ice formed along the eastern part of the Siberian coast relatively early compared to recent years. For this reason, several cargo ships transiting through the northern sea route were caught by surprise. Several of them became frozen in and are now waiting for icebreakers to free them. Several could be stranded for months as they wait for icebreakers to reach them. Ship owners had assumed this month would be no different from recent years. In fact, warmer weather triggered by global warming allowed ships to cross parts of Russian's northern sea routes in November without any help from icebreakers. However, Sea ice grew fast up to 30 centimeters thick across most of the Laptev Sea and East Siberian Seas, according to the Barents Sea Observer. The waters along the eastern parts of the sea route were ice covered already in late October, which is several weeks earlier than normal. The present situation originated about October 25th, according to the University Center for High North Logistics, which has carefully tracked the situation unfold. In November 2021, a total of 24 vessels traveling along the route become stuck in the sea ice and required icebreaker assistance. If all this was also a matter of negligence is not clear, but we are not entitled nor sufficiently informed to unraveling such aspects. Therefore, let's see what's happening in the Arctic this year and why the ice concentrations and extent are higher than average in some sectors. But first of all, let's see how sea ice is defined in the video below. The sea ice extent in the Arctic is updated every five days from half October to the end of November. Uh, let's hop over quickly to Null School. So here is Null School. Or Null School or how you ever want to pronounce that. Let's take temperature and adjust the height to the highest what we can get here. And let's have first a quick look at the South Pole. Where we find
12.6 degrees minus and what 12 kilometers in height <laughs> 12 degrees now oh, first i want to point one thing out let's put the particles off now one half another half the laptive C is around here and if we click somewhere here we have 84.6 degrees and at the approximately approximate position where I am 79.2 83.5 so 70 degrees temperature difference between the north and the south pole furthermore uh, we cannot really see it on this map. We have to go to another website. Wait a second. So we are at poleshiftnews.com North. Pole mm, tracking. I didn't now find the really latest data for some reason, but I guess we are already really close to the 40 degrees mark. So, is there any bigger picture of that? Here we have it. So this is basically continuum to this direction. And Actually, I have to go back to null school to show you one thing. So the magnetic north pole is somewhere around here at the moment. It's coming that way. Actually, not this way. So it might be not that big surprise. That's why the lapt FC is already frozen. Because this is where the Birkeland currents might be at the moment. Or it's somewhere here probably. This is why we got so cold here. And on that side of Earth, there's nothing. Not too cold, no big change or whatever. which is really interesting. On this side of Earth, 70 degrees in Middle Europe, or over Europe, Middle Europe, Croatia, 60, Germany, 72. Seventy. And it goes really, really low down. That's the equator line. And it's not that far away that we still have like the 60. And if you compare that to the southern hemisphere, 40. And here it gets even much warmer. 10 degrees. Which is really interesting. Yeah, but anyway,
global warming, climate change. Yeah, it's true, but it's not human made. Obviously. It's cycles, big cycles. And usually before it gets cold, it gets warm. And we had warm for quite a quite a while. Now it seems the coldness is coming from above. Thanks. Bye.